I'm a 51-year-old guy from Canada who's been practicing Kung Fu for almost 30 years, and I've just arrived in China to do some intensive Kung Fu training in the famous Wudong Mountains. I'm not sure if I'm ready for this, but I'm going to give it my best shot. Sean, and I'm at the school. There's the school right behind me here, and I'm just about to go in. Okay, so I'm waiting in the lobby of the school here. It's about 10 to 6 now. People are going to come down at about 6 to start training, and then I think I'm not sure if I'm meeting Master Yuan then or one of the other teachers. room. We have bed, closet, but it's all pretty new. Maybe have like a hotel style lock and everything. I'm right on the first floor actually. It'll be good. When my knees are aching, <laughs> I'm not gonna have to go up the stairs. And bathroom. Cool. And the shower is kind of integrated right in the whole bathroom here. Sink. But it's good, it's my own private stuff, so that's kind of nice. And there's a window right out to the courtyard here. So you can actually see everybody training. And probably tomorrow, or even later today, that'll be me. I'm about to start my first training session. I've only been here for maybe about uh, a couple of hours, I got here at... Uh, 530. 30. Um, no, I got, I guess, uh, three hours now. And I'm going to start my first basic training, then meet with the master and figure out a uh, sort of a plan for training for the rest of the time. So they've got me a new uniform. She's got the cool shoes. And I'm ready to go out and meet the basic training coach. Somebody's practicing an instrument out here, we gotta check it out.
然后那个课程的话，他会想充分了解你。你好 ，David， nice to meet you。我是大卫，大卫，呀，大卫，呀。哦，我 looking forward to meeting you for a long time, Shifu. Okay. <laughs> Finally here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It took me、uh, 30 years to plan to come here. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know if do you have time to meet for a few minutes、uh, to talk yeah, about yeah. training or. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So we ended up having a great talk, where I explained about my training with Master Pan, and also at the Trono Shaolin Temple Chuan Fa Institute. He seemed pretty happy in general about it. So we settled on me learning two forms, and they usually only teach students one form per month. But he said, with my experience with、uh, weapons and forms and training, that I should be able to get through it no problem. So we settled on starting with a sword form called Tai Yi Xuan Men Jin. This is a video of Master Yuan performing it a few years ago. So the video quality is not so great, but you'll get an idea of what it looks like. Okay, it's two training sessions done so far today. Today is my first day. 
And because it was the first day I arrived here at about uh, 5.30 in the morning, so they gave me uh, the morning session off, which is the one that goes from 6 until 7. Uh, so I could get unpacked and dressed and, um, and uh, showered and all that kind of stuff. Been down to breakfast. Uh, then they gave me the option to take a day off, uh, deal with jet lag and travel on the train and that kind of thing. But I figured I've, I've come all this way, uh, not to sort of uh, sit around and watch everybody else do stuff. So I decided to uh, jump into the training right away. Um, you saw actually uh, as, as we came out, or as I came out, uh, there was somebody playing music and it turned out that it was uh, Master Yuan. And then when he was done, uh, the administrator introduced him to me and so I had a chance to chat with him about my training, my background, and uh, he was asking me, so, so what do I want to do here? So I kind of laid out what, uh, what I thought the plan was. Um, and um, he really agreed, which was good, uh, based on, on everything that I had shown him and talked to him about my training. So uh, we settled on learning um, a new straight sword form, uh, Tai Yi Shuan Men Jiang, and it's a really neat one actually. It can be done fast or slow, or fast and slow. Uh, so it's going to be a really interesting one. And because I've got all these problems with my knees, and we'll talk about that later, some of my injuries and that kind of thing, um, you know, we really agreed that uh, it's, it's better if I'm not doing a whole lot of stuff with tons of jumping and that type of thing. So, uh, so this seems like an ideal thing for me, especially since I've uh, learned a lot of weapons in the past. He figured I, figured I should uh, be able to kind of uh, get through it fairly quickly. And so I asked him to pick something else for me um, if I got this done quickly to do after. So he laid out a couple of forms and I'm going to do a little bit of research into those forms and, um, and hopefully I'll be able to have enough chance to do those as well. So we did two sessions today after, after breakfast, then, um, then we, uh, we did uh, the first morning training session. So that was uh, two and a half hours. Uh, then we went for lunch, and then we get a couple of hours off actually, so that's pretty good. Digest your lunch and that kind of thing. And then it's uh, another two hours of training. So, uh, so far on the first day, I've got four and a half hours of training down. Uh, now we gotta settle in. Uh, dinner is happening soon. And then after that, we will do one hour of evening training. And I'll tell you how that works. Okay, well I'm back from my final session for today and it was a meditation session and I never really meditated before. It was uncomfortable <laughs> to, to sit like that for an hour or so, uh, but I'll see if I get better at it and everything. It's not really like a guided meditation, uh, apparently here it's more of a, a free thing. Uh, there's some explanation about it, but it's all in Chinese, so it's a little bit difficult as well. But uh, that's interesting. It's actually a pretty good way to sort of do a, an unwinding after, after kind of a hard day uh, without just sort of lying down and sleeping because you still have to be kind of up and uh, alert and everything like that. So that's about it uh, for today. I'm going to uh, get some rest because we'll be up again for 6 o'clock tomorrow for the first class. Uh, but before I go, I just want to show you that there's some ladies have taken over Taihei Square, uh, the, the square of the school, and they're using it as kind of like a dance party. So I'll see if I can turn off the lights in here and show the camera up there. <laughs> there they are. So these are the ladies uh, taking over Taihei Square. And they're doing some kind of line dancing to the sort of Chinese kind of pop line dancing music. Well, with that I'm gonna go to bed. 
good night.